All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to Say It Loud Snippets. Um, we're just going to give you a little quick take on a couple of things that have been going on or whatever's been going on in the week. So, yeah. uh, what are we talking about? This one disturbs me a lot because this happened to me, and I can I can feel all the feels from this one. There's a, there's a video that was released where this guy dropped his daughter off to his baby's mom, and he had got her hair done, and the girl, the the mom cut the baby's braids off in front of him. Baby, see nobody did be crying. I don't care. I told you stop playing with me. This motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. Oh, so Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit sad. Hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad. You hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl hair. My baby sat there for two hours. I saw, I saw red, I saw red during this whole video because this, this junk happens all the time and it happened to me with my daughter and not as blatant as this, as it was on this video, but I wish, I wish it would. <laughs> I, I, I was furious. Yeah. To no end. Like, I've seen many videos that made me upset. This one was the most... Ugh. Yeah, I feel you. I, I think, um... It was... it For me, it was like, okay... The child is with her dad. Her dad gets her hair done. Now, I think the, the big thing with, what uh, another lady told me was... Her biggest thing was she was mad because... His girl, some other woman, touched the baby's hair. I'm like, well, first of all, if the dad would have did, did the hair himself, that would have been weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody else, she was like, and the, I watched the video. She's like, it's cute. I ain't saying it ain't cute, but I didn't tell you to do it. So you mean to tell me that because you didn't say it was okay, even though it ain't all the way up to you. You're both parents. Well, actually, I don't know how they got it worked out, but still. Even you didn't say it was okay, so you gonna cut this baby's hair? And the thing about this, this is not a this is not a small child. This child can knows what's going on. She's mm -hmm. paying attention. What do you think your child is going to remember about you, the mother, right. taking her by her hair and cutting her braids off <laughs> because you mad at the dad? Who do you think that makes look bad? Right. Like that's ridiculous. She cut the baby's hair off, like at the at the tip of the braids, like, and then picked it up like this and like threw it. Like you shouldn't have did it. And like she's crying the whole entire time, and I'm just like, okay, you are. What you're doing is you're making sure that your daughter hates you. I'm saying when she gets older, because she go remember this. This is this is trauma. I'm saying parents be trash sometimes, and you know what? I'm just gonna say it. Sometimes I had this conversation. With somebody and, and they took offense for whatever reason. That's a prerogative. But I say sometimes you're just a trash parent. Okay? That's just what it is. Now, you may not want to agree with that. But, you know, everybody doesn't live up to to what a responsible parent should be. And it's petty. You know what I'm saying? And it's petty. You mad at, you're not even mad at the fact that her, she got her hair done. You're mad at the dad for moving on. Oh, That's what gosh. you mad at. You just you don't care about her, the, the the girl, the daughter, your daughter you getting her hair done. You could have taken the hair out. And here's the thing: you mad, so you went through a whole thing while they're meeting up, got some stuff, and cut her hair on sight. Like you could have taken <sighs> that child home and just taken the hair out. That there was <sighs> so there was so much more mature ways to handle this situation. And you went the most immature, most petty way possible yeah. by cutting the little girl's hair off. That's ridiculous. No, you don't do that to no child. You don't do that to no child. You could have easily been like, thank you for getting her hair done. And even, it would have been less underhanded if you would have just redone her hair. I mean, honestly, if you didn't like, and I guess that's where the crux is. Because she's like, it's cute, it's cute. I'm like, if you didn't like it. Redo it, did it, all this stuff. But the fact that you did like it, and it was just because it right. wasn't you that did it. And here's the thing. And here's here's my question. 
What did the little girl's hair look like to make her have to do her hair in the first place? I'm saying. Would you, you go with dad? Because usually, because you know dads don't be doing hair. I mean, on a general thing. There's, dads aren't the ones that take care mostly. Right. It'd well, be the mom that get it, you right. know. And I'm one of them. I'm a dad that does hair. I do my daughter's hair sometimes. I, yeah. I the most The most extensive thing I do is braids. Yeah. But here's the thing. What did her hair look like? Yeah. I, Are you mad because someone actually did your daughter's hair? I'm saying if she came back, you know, looking like there was a bunch of spiders having a meeting on her head. Okay. You gonna be mad that you know, why you have my daughter out in public like this? <sighs> so, so real, real women, wh what y'all think about this, man? Like, what's your what's your, what was your initial reaction watching this? <laughs> and just comment comment in the in the video in the comment space below. Let us know what y'all think about this and where y'all mm -hmm. stand. Because I personally think she came off as a trash mother. I don't know her, and I don't know whatever else she does in life. Right. But that little clip showed me you trash. Trash but bags. That's just what I think. But you know what we do. We say it loud. We and we, and we there it is. Keep hope alive, y'all. Peace. Mm.